Baking can be a joyous experience, especially when it results in something as gorgeous as these vanilla hydrangea cupcakes. So we're transforming our kitchen into a floral wonderland today, creating cupcakes that are not only a feast for the eyes, but also for the taste buds. I'd like to know how you did this, because they look <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Well, Z, I'll tell you how, and it, it's by starting off using a product that is a, a huge staple Can I in guess? My home. Can you guess? Moy River butter. <laughs> yes, so we're using Clover Moy River premium butter, and that is one ingredient that I never compromise on okay. when I bake. It just, you know, it, it adds texture, it adds flavor, it adds moisture to anything you bake. So smoothness as well. Smoothness as yes. well. So we're gonna start off with our Moy River butter. What I love, Z, is available in a brick and a tub. Okay. So this I generally use for baking because in my batch of, of buttercream, I use the entire brick. Okay. But the tub is so convenient because it's easily stored. You know, nothing worse than having a block of butter in your fridge and wrapping is all undone. Yes, exactly. Someone's gone in I know there that with their toast. <laughs> so what you'll see here, Aziz, I've had, I've had my Clover Moy River butter in the bowl and I've whisked that um, until it's light, light and creamy. So you can see that it's nice and fluffy. So into this, this is now an American buttercream, which is essentially butter and icing sugar. Okay. So generally it works in a, in a ratio of one part butter to two parts icing sugar. So we've used 500 grams in here of the Clover Moy River butter and we've got a kilogram of icing sugar. Okay. So I know that sounds like a lot, but this batch of buttercream will be enough for about 24 cupcakes or um, a sort of a two layer um, 20 centimeter cake. So it's quite a lot in okay. terms of quantity. So at this point, you really just want to start incorporating the icing sugar very slowly. So I usually do this in about three, three to four additions. And um, I've sort of tried adding it all at once and it does work. So okay. as long as your butter is nice and soft and your icing sugar has been sifted, which it has been in this case, you can see that it actually starts coming together quite nicely. You need a big enough bowl as well, right? You need a big enough bowl and just a bit of patience. Yeah. So the nice thing about this is that there's no real way of over mixing. You know, a lot of the time when we talk about cakes, we talk about not uh, mixing it over mixing and that's purely because of the gluten which is found in flour but uh, we're not using any gluten to oh, any flour today so you don't have to worry about that in fact I encourage over mixing with your buttercream we've gone in with our icing sugar now a bit of um, vanilla paste vanilla essence works just as well and then a squeeze of lemon juice just to bring in a bit of zestiness and just to cancel out that sweetness and then what I've got here is some powdered purple, Z. Okay. Now we're talking about getting it white. Purple sits opposite to yellow in the color wheel. So it cancels out the, the yellowness and actually okay. makes it more white. Okay, so interesting. You can add whatever you can add whatever color you want, and now it's Am just helping? decorating. You see, okay, so I'm cool. going to show you how to do the hydrangea, yes, um, which is a it. very simple technique, and we've used a closed star nozzle. This will allow you to do both the hydrangea and the rose. Okay. Okay. So. So that's. So that's the rose. The rose. And, and the other one, one is the hydrangea. my favorite flowers, the hydrangea, very cool. So we filled our buttercream with two shades of, of coloring, and that gives you that sort of um, realistic look of a hydrangea, yes. which is not one complete color. It sort yes. of tapers out to the ends. So <laughs> for the hydrangea, you're gonna start out at a 90 degree angle on the outside. So I'm just gonna hold with my other hand, okay. You're going to start on the circumference and then you're going to basically follow all the way in just making sure that you have an even layer and then we can build it up just to give that more realistic look because flowers as you know are three-dimensional mm -hmm. so they aren't they aren't flat and then with the same piping nozzle Z you start in the middle and then this time you drag it on the outside and that gives you your beautiful oh, rose. Oh wow that's very cool. And then those are two techniques that you can use just with one piping nozzle. That's very cool. Well, we hope that these vanilla hydrangea cupcakes bring you as much joy to your home as they have brought to ours. For the complete recipe, visit afternoonexpress.co.za and start baking your way to happiness. Also, don't go away because after the break, Vicky Sampson is back with another stellar performance. Indulge in Clover's Moy River Pure Salted Butter. Perfect for cooking, baking and spreading. Elevate every dish with Clover Moy River Butter.